on this episode of Weekly Obsession. Recover popsicles. Let's go. Pick them up, pick them up. I can do hard things. When you use the loops often, it isolates your different butt muscles. I think as a man, I underestimate the power of the loops. Ah! My band had a little tear in it. Just keep moving. After three weeks, I'm definitely starting to see changes in my body. Fitness is not a destination. It doesn't just end at the end of 80 days. After the workout, I definitely feel like I have like a badunk dunk It feels like that. The hardest thing for me is every night my oldest daughter, who's five, says, Mommy, I need dessert. At the end of the night, when you're scooping cookies and cream ice cream into a bowl for your daughter and giving them dessert, and all you want to do is like take just like one little spoonful, like that's super hard for me. But my will and the fact that I'm starting to see results make it easier to commit to this program because I want to keep seeing those results, and those results don't come without making some sort of sacrifice. So no ice cream for me. You guys, speaking of treats, I was like, I really need a treat this weekend after we went to that party Saturday night and everybody was eating cupcakes. So I made a treat for all of us. I'm gonna get you guys after the workout. Is it brownie? Oh. Is it dessert? I'm not gonna tell you. It's was it made with love? It was made with so much love. Lift, extend, curl. Blow all that air out, up. I had a rough start to my morning and I told all of them. I just had a busy weekend. It was like lots of chaos. Family was at my house the whole weekend, who I love and adore, but there was like no quiet moments. And so my brain had kind of been rattled all weekend. So coming in Monday morning, I was just like frazzled. Good day, bad day, work it out. That's what I always say. But really on a bad day, which I have no reason for it to be a bad day, but it was a long weekend and I'm tired. But the endorphin rush is gonna change my day right around. Here we go. When I'm having a rough start, I look forward to my workout because I know it'll reset my mind. Two more, once you get to work, it's amazing how that attitude can flip around. It's when you sit in it and you dwell in it that your whole day goes to hell. Core tight, only lower, as low as you can. When you just start working out, you have to focus your mind. You can forget about all that other stuff. And then by the time you're finished, you just feel lighter and you just have so much more energy. So it definitely lifts my mood. So it's a great way to start a Monday. I am excited though. Kaylee made us all recover popsicles today. That's a surprise. That's, That's a surprise. Oh. <laughs> my bad. Never been good at keeping a surprise. <laughs> Autumn was so excited about the popsicles that she um, said how she couldn't wait to have Autumn one. and her big fat mouth <laughs> ruined it per the usual. It's okay. Recover popsicles. It was a scoop of orange recover for each person and I mixed it with just a little bit of water and I put some vanilla extract in there and just blended it up, poured it in a popsicle mold and froze them. And then for the chocolate ones, I've added a tiny bit of coffee for flavor and a little bit of cinnamon. She's ready for a treat. Yay! Yay! Kaylee surprising us with popsicles was awesome. Since I'm vegan and anyone who's vegan on the plan, it doesn't include Recover because Recover is not vegan. She did mine with Shakeology. It was really good. I'm like a fudge stick I grew up on. I've never had a butt. I feel like it doesn't look different, but it feels different. And yeah. That's what matters. Well, everybody should use double band it today. And then yeah, let's, that's do, let's, do, let's try some double banding. Let's I wanted to double band today. When you use the loops often, it isolates your different butt muscles. Like when you do squats or lunges, like it's really hard to like feel the isolation. But with the bands, you're literally like isolating that muscle. So now I feel like when I do other exercises, I can like isolate, isolate the muscle. Like I can recognize the muscle and like kind of turn it on. Yeah, which actually, will help, which will help it grow. Who's doubling up? Anybody doubling up? I'm gonna wait till round two. Now that it's the third week, the blue band is a little too easy, so I knew I needed to up my game and throw on a second one. You're doubling up. Do it now. I might triple it. Woo, he's on triple. I was very ambitious today with the loops. I thought I was the big guy on campus. Oh, we're squeezing. Yes. It's burning. I had three loops on, and then, whew, by number five of the first set, I was dying. I should have done three. <laughs> you can always <laughs> pop one off. I went to two, 
And then I was like, you know what? It's better to just stick to one. I'm not there yet. He doesn't work his glutes as much as like we do. A lot of men don't, you know, it's more stereotypical for girls to be working the booty. I think as a man, I underestimate the power of the loops, the glutes and the pulls and the push, all that stuff. It wasn't pretty. Make sure if you do have on two bands, you have proper form. If you feel your hip joints trying to roll in, if you feel your knees rolling in, it's too much resistance right now. So pop one band off. In week three, when we're in this three by 10 rep range and we're doing multiple rounds and really burning it out, it hurts. Like, it's a challenge. Here we go. It's the supporting. Nope, lied. Time out. Not me. I put the blue loop around my ankle. I said, I got this. And then I was like, nope. You challenge yourself, and if you're ready for it, you go for it. And then if you're not, you don't stay in it just because that's what you thought you could do. So I put it on, I tried, and my glutes were definitely not feeling that much resistance today. And I did a quick switch over to the green and kept going. Moving series, loop goes up around the thighs. Ah! Wait. When I went to put my second green band on today, I just noticed that the edge of my green band was frayed. My band had a little tear in it. Gotta be safe. Even though it probably wouldn't have ripped on me today, it's just a safety issue that I don't wanna take. So I was like, no. Everybody's will be a little bit different. It could last the full 80 days and it could last a week or two. It Sometimes it depends on your shoes. And so like what it's rubbing on on the bottom of your shoes, like cause everybody has different grips on the bottom. It might depend on the floor surface. We're on a pretty smooth surface, but like if you're working out in your garage or if you're working out on a different type of floor or if it catches on something, you could lose it in a week or two. Awesome job, exhale it all out. We will see you guys tomorrow. I don't wanna sit at all today cause I know once you sit, you're just, you're done for. After the workout, I definitely feel like I have like a badunk dunk I'm pretty sure that that isn't the case, but it feels like that, you know? It feels like high, tight, and right. Yesterday's workout was definitely an intense booty workout, and I could feel like the exhaustion in my muscles. My muscles feel exhausted. Well, that's not gonna not be a good sore. start. No, I feel like that too. My legs are heavy and uh -huh. tired, yeah. which is gonna be bad for today because there's so much jumping. I was feeling really tight after booty day just because with the bands, I did a lot of double banding yesterday. So I started off with some foam rolling, and then I massaged some muscle rub on it. It's just a little extra thing I like to do before I start working out. Ah. It's not so much the soreness I think that's getting him. It's that we're lifting heavy. And when you're lifting super heavy, your entire body is taxed in a very different way. And so they're more tired and sore. Whereas when we're lifting in a two by 15 with a little bit lighter weights, that feels a little bit more like cardio training. Like the heart rate stays up. It's a little bit lighter weights. The muscles are fatigued, but not quite in the same way when you're in this heavy lift. So that's what they're feeling when they say their legs feel like 100 pounds. They've been working hard all week, so they're feeling it. It's, it takes a little extra oomph, but that's why it doesn't show up till week three. Let's go! Pick them up, pick them up! X jumps. If you need to modify, it's here. You guys, that modification is not just for carry. The modifier is there because these workouts are hard and at any given moment, if your form starts to go, you have one of two options. You can modify or you can stop. And to me, stopping isn't an option. Here's the thing, you guys. One week, you might be super solid in it, right? Feeling good, feeling strong. Next week, even though it's the next week and you should be stronger, maybe you didn't get enough sleep. Maybe you're hungrier. Things change day by day. It's okay. Here we go, set it up, and you just have to keep trying your best. When you do have to stop a lot, that makes you start to feel also like you're failing, and they're not, it's hard, but if we are stuck in our head and feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm failing, you might not wanna keep going with the workout. So the goal with the modifier is to give people an option to keep going. The hardest thing to keep in the fridge are vegetables, because we have to eat so much so of them. So much like, I made like a whole container, a big thing container. Sometimes you don't feel like a green goes with your meal, or like yeah. you don't want to like 
Like if you're having breakfast, you're like, oh, I don't really if want I a vegetable have, like, for my breakfast. And yogurt for my yellow and bread. I don't. I'm not gonna make spinach in either one. Of those. Exactly. And the power greens are more so just like an alternative. Almost like if I were to just go get a green juice. I just wanted to have it for days like today, where I had my eggs and meat already cooked, but I didn't have time to stand at the stove and cook up some greens. I, at nighttime, use the greens drink instead of my vegetable. So like last night, I had the power greens boost, and then I ate half an avocado for my blue. It was nice. It wasn't too much before bed. You guys know we have our tracking sheets. We've been tracking ours sort of offset after the workout, but everybody sort of today was like, Hmm, what am I gonna lift? What am I gonna do? So I made everybody bring their papers out today to track them. We're tracking our weights to make sure that we're making progress. If you're getting stronger, you should be going up in weights a little bit. I'm not saying it's a five and 10 pound jump, but it should be a two to three to five pound jump. You can do it. It's new and different, but I like it actually, because now I'll visually get to see like where I started and like how far I've come. Track those weights, you guys, especially if you changed anything. It sort of gives you more of a handle on your progress. Because it's not always about the number on the scale. You have to track all the non-scale victories, too. And so getting stronger is one of those things to track. Learn to love the journey. Fitness is not a destination. It doesn't just end at the end of 80 days. So you got to fall in love with the process, because the process never stops. Oh. What are these things called? A bright rose. Well, oh, yeah, I those things, decide. yeah. Side what kind of pain I'm supposed to feel. <laughs> because those are very hard for me. Those are hard for me. They are hard. So here's the thing, and this is why you saw me switch out. So when I was doing my 15s, I get a pinch right here. The reason I switched that out is because there's a difference between my muscle getting tired and actually feeling like a little pinch in my joint, in my tendon. With the 15s, I was getting a little pinch. So I switched it down, and now I'm getting nothing but muscle Soreness, tiredness, burnout. Muscle fatigue is soreness and burning. Pinching is pain. That's really the difference between the two. If you're feeling a pain, a sharp pain, or a pinching pain, that's not good. That's never what we're looking for. And you gotta be careful because it's, it's a very small space for all your tendons and muscle to attach in there. So that's why a lot of people will get impingements in their shoulders because there's not a lot of space to move in there. And the key is obviously to only come up to shoulder height, but even doing that, you can still start to get a pinch if you're going too heavy or if you start to rotate in because the weights are too heavy. So one, you gotta keep them in line so that this doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. But two, if, it, if you start to feel a, like a uncomfortable pinch somewhere, you need to go down. Pain lets you know you're sort of in trouble. Tiredness and fatigue lets you know you're working hard. I do the upright rows, my um, shoulder feels crunchy. Mine pops too. Okay, so normal. roll back and down. And when you pull up, I always think about, instead of just coming straight up, mm -hmm. I think about up and back slightly. So I think about oh. just ever so slightly pulling back so oh. I can engage my back a little bit and so that you don't go closed here, right? Okay. So, Okay. And then, and then you're working your posture at the same time. Yeah, I definitely feel my upper back right now. You should, like if you're doing it right and pulling back a little bit, you should. Welcome to leg day, week three. I can do hard things. Engage your upper body. Two more. Hip hinge. I'm gonna switch to my 22 and a half. And don't compare the weights that you're using to anybody else. What is heavy on my 108 pound frame compared to what's heavy on Jasmine's frame is actually different challenges for our body. So don't judge it and don't compare it. There's always more than you realize going on. She made a good point that like when you, which is so true, when you will use less weight, you get more benefit out of an exercise. You'll get more range of motion. Yeah. So it might just be But I don't want to get lazy. No, you know what I mean? there's a like difference, that. but if you're feeling it in your back, yeah. that's not laziness. That's like we need to be careful of form. I thought I was being big and bad, you know, lifting up, you know, 30s and going up. And I slowly realized that I was cramping, you know, or I wasn't doing the right form. But then when Autumn was just like, if you use lesser weight and you really focus on your form, it'll be better. And when I did that, what ended up happening was I actually felt different muscles in my body that I wasn't feeling before. So that really helped me when I was told to use lesser weight, you know, for better form. Do it right now with no weight. When I say shoot energy back, Press into your back toes, I, the ball of your foot, when as I did you that, do it. That did help. Yes. That See, did you help. just sunk in so much more. Yeah, yeah. That does help. So you but might have to lighten up. Lighten up, yeah. Are you ready? How high can you get? Last one. Flip it forward. Bear. 
Right, left, up, kick, get lower, and... You guys, I always give you 30 seconds, 60 seconds at the end of this to move around in place, get a sip of water. It's so your heart rate can come down more naturally. You can get lightheaded, so you don't want to slam the brakes on on your heart rate. You always want to be careful. That's why you'll hear me say drop to your knees first, then stand up slowly and things like that, just to make sure that we're not rushing that getting up and standing up and seeing stars. I mean, I was just thinking, that says day 20, which seems like really late, but then imagining it saying like 76 or something seems, Far seems insane. Yeah. But then once it says No, 76, I think when it says 76, we'll be like, oh no, three more days. Oh, it's over. That's true, I didn't think yeah, that. Yeah, I think So we'll let's be, be grateful yeah. that it's only day 20. Yeah. So this week, though, uh, seriously, I feel like I learned that I'm a little bit stronger. Well, I've made myself stronger, but also just like, being prepared to go stronger more and confident. try harder, more yeah. confident, and just realizing like, whatever, it's better to shoot like as far as you can, and then if it's a little too much, you can always just say, oh, I'll go down and wait. That's right. At this point, I think I'm doing better than I thought I would be. I just think because of the commitment for 80 days, at first I had thoughts in my mind and feelings like, you can't do this, but I'm feeling really strong and really good. Just keep moving. After three weeks, I'm definitely starting to see changes in my body. My waist has narrowed a little bit. My butt has probably grown a little bit, which is one of the goals of the program, so that's good. But the place where I feel like I see the most changes in my arms, actually. I feel like I've always struggled to like sculpt and shape my arms and shoulders, and I'm definitely seeing a difference there. I can see my body changing, so that's like really I good motivation for me. Oh, I see you, girl. Yeah. It is, though. Yeah, it is. I mean, I definitely feel like I'm smaller all around, but the biggest change that I've seen within myself, it's not a physical one. This is just allowing me to get myself back. So that's week three of 80 Day Obsession. You can see myself and the cast are starting to find our groove, which is great. Maybe you haven't found your groove with your fitness and nutrition program. If you'd like to try out 80 Day Obsession, head over to Beachbody On Demand and sign up today.